Well, great to be here at Kaluan State School on the Sunshine Coast, and I thank Dale Wolfenden and the uh, school community for having us today. Uh, joined by John Paul Langbrook, Minister of Education, and Steve Dixon, who is the state member, and the speaker Fiona Simpson, as another Sunshine Coast MP. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we made a very firm commitment to revitalise frontline services, and education is one of the most critical things that a state government does. And the whole thrust of our uh, approach to getting better outcomes for our kids in our schools is to put the effort particularly into the early years. Um, we made a commitment that we'd boost um, the support for prep classes, and John Paul will talk about that in a moment. But we've also implemented other strategies over the last two years to give schools autonomy with the Independent Public Schools Program, to actually um, help teachers get better academic qualifications with the Great Teachers Great Results Program, $537 million over four years, and also the Great Results Guarantee, which was launched at the start of this year, which is seeing 75% of the $131 million go to the primary schools so that we can put the focus on the early years because, ladies and gentlemen, all the educational research says we have to get the basics right. Uh, literacy and numeracy skills, the core skills that people need for their entire uh, time in the education system, but of course through a lifetime of learning um, as uh, adults, as they perhaps have to retrain in the future as they go from job to job. It's important to get the basics right. Now, one of the commitments we made was to provide uh, support, full-time teachers' aid support to prep classes in our state schools. Um, we've uh, done that over the last uh, two years. We've made announcements, and today we make the third of those announcements as we increase the rollout of funding towards the program. So, JP, over to you. Sure. Thanks, Premier. Well, it is great to be here, and a wonderful day for prep teacher aides, where we're adding another 127 schools who are getting more support in 471 classrooms. It's our third year of four years' worth of promise. It's $54 million altogether, but most importantly, it's going to schools like Kaluan State School, where they really need the help. I know it's appreciated as, uh, in terms of it being support for our kids in the early years, just as the Great Results Guarantee has been putting all that resource into literacy and numeracy to get kids to the national minimum standard. 